Hey friends, today we're gonna do a get ready with me because I'm filming two videos tonight and this is the first of the two and it's very hot out and uh, if you hear any noises, it's because my window's open and it is 12, 14 in the morning, so. You're welcome. <laughs> Please don't, thank you. Um, I literally have to have a window open because otherwise it's way too hot because I had to close my door and there's a fan out there because it's too noisy. Let's just do a get ready with me. Let's, cause I'm gonna film a video after this. I've been wanting to use the I've been wanting to use the Midas Cosmetics and the Riviera palette. I've been wanting to use those in a video. And so I'm busting those out now. I think I'm gonna try and stick to just those palettes. Cause I think it, there's like a good selection of colors in here. We're doing like a rainbow look today. I am still gonna start out with my foundation though because otherwise, well, should I? Yeah, cause otherwise it's just gonna not look right. My foundation will not look like right on my sweaty face. I had this idea for a video that I wanted to film and I couldn't get it out of my head. And I'm like, I'm going out of town this weekend. I need to film some videos because I didn't have any in the, in the queue or in the, in the dugout. Is that in the bullpen? I didn't have any, uh, any videos in the bullpen, uh, ready to go. So I was like, let me film two because it's way too hot for me to like, just put makeup on to film one video. So we're doing two. The one good thing about heat is that my skin actually likes it a lot more because my skin is not as dry. So, I mean, there's a bright side to everything. Why the fuck you lying? My body hates the heat, but my skin loves it. So what did I want to talk about today? I wanted to do a rainbow look because I'd been seeing a bunch of people do videos and I needed to use these palettes in a video and I was like, I'll just... Put them in one, you know, because I really wanted to use this. And I've been seeing a lot of people compare this to the new Jeffree Star palette, which I can definitely see the resemblance for sure. Palettes take a really long time to like formulate and come up with. So I don't think that he blatantly ripped this one off because the they don't have enough time to do it. But if you're somebody who was like really intrigued by that palette, this one's way less expensive and very similar. And it has pressed glitters. Um, okay. So you know that life when you just don't have anything to wipe your brushes off. So you just like brush them off on your pants or on a blanket or on a towel. Who knows? <laughs> Please shut up. Shut the fuck up. So I have the Riviera palette that I'm going to use. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is take Estate, which is this like super pale, like peachy shade and put it on in the crease. I think the other side, cause I think what I wanna do is like a two-toned look because I wanna do rainbow. On the other side, so this one's gonna be the warmer side. I know what I'll do. On the other side, I want to do the mustardy shade because I'm gonna do more of like greeny blues on that side. So I'm gonna take Cabana and put that one on the other eye. I literally have no idea where I'm going with this look today. So we'll see. Oh, I almost put it on the other eye. That's just how the magic happens, isn't it? Okay, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of Monte Carlo in the crease as well, just to like make it a little bit pinker. So these thoroughly don't match. That's the goal. I think I'm gonna put this one away I'm gonna put this one away for now and then um, grab the Midas palette. So this eye is gonna be warm on the top. This one's gonna be cool on the top. So I'm gonna take I know what I'll do. I'll do the rest of the eye and then I'm gonna do yellow in the inner corner and then it'll be like a full gradient. So I'm gonna take Daffodil, this orangey shade in here, it's right here. I'll use the shimmery yellow gold in the Riviera palette. That's what I'll do. Orange in the center. This is why I don't do tutorials because I'm terrible at explaining things. <laughs> really nice orange though. And then I'm gonna take hibiscus. It's kind of pinkish shade. I need it. Ooh, that's a nice one. This eye is gonna be like sunsetty, and then the other one's gonna be like oceany. I'm blending those two together. 
I hate this brush. I'm not going to use this brush. I hate it. As much as I love the flat shader brush sides of the Anastasia brushes, the blending brushes are terrible. I hate them. Um, so I'm going to take it on a softer brush. There we go. That's nicer. And then a little bit of Dahlia, which is the deeper red. Ooh, and that pigment does not fuck around. All right. Hell yeah. I thought I was going to do like a pastel version of a rainbow. Absolutely not happening now. Ah. <sighs> Take a little bit of Dahlia because that orange kind of went away. There we go. There we go. Now, I'm gonna take this brush and take this color Plumeria, this green shade. Oh, it's so pretty. And then put it in the center of the lid. It's slightly more blue than I expected it to be, but oh well. It'll mix with the yellow and make it green. I haven't messed with this color really like at all. I messed with the blues though. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted a look with the blues the other day. Oh my God, so pretty. Okay, so the green thoroughly placed. I have no idea how this look is gonna go, but who knows? Now I'm gonna take Hydrangea, lighter of the blues, which are such nice shades. Holy shit, this, the blues in this palette, fantastic. Like, look at that. That was like one tap and that blue was just like, bam, pigment. Hello. That's nice. Blow it out a little more. Yeah. Now all it needs is the yellow, the yellowy gold right in the middle. I'm going to take Inheritance, this yellow gold. It's a beautiful yellow gold shade with the actual Anastasia uh, brush. Ooh. Ooh, yes. And then do the same on the other side to mesh them together. Cool. Yay, that's pretty. Now I'm gonna do my under eye concealer because otherwise it will not turn out well. <laughs> like no fallout in this palette. It's awesome. I love it. I love it. And yes, I did see that they're releasing a yellow monochromatic palette, that Midas is releasing a yellow monochromatic palette before ColourPop. Holy shit, I'm so stoked on that that was like the one thing that ColourPop hadn't come out with and i'm like come on guys you come out with every other fucking color but no yellow yet make it snappy i will show you how this product works on my face i really love this brow gel my makeup has been sitting in hotter temperatures lately because it's been fucking hot so everything's a little bit more emollient so there's that but yeah what else has been happening on the internet um i will be posting this video after the video i record after this one um so i don't want to talk about anything that's like too dated you know oh i did want to mention i do want to make a standalone video about like stan culture and cancel culture but I feel like I need to have like more things written out and like my thoughts gathered and not be recording it at 1230 at night. So that's going to be a separate video. But again, if you follow me on Instagram or on Twitter, I was super stoked about um, Drew and Danny and Curtis going on tour. Uh, the We're Two Different People tour. I was so fucking excited, especially because like I missed Cody and Noelle's tour. I love Drew, Danny, and Curtis. They're like three of my favorite creators on the platform right now. And uh, they're not coming to the Pacific Northwest. And I'm super sad about it. Cause I'm like, people just fucking constantly leave us out of things. Bands come here all the time. Like we don't get left out of like music tours, but when it comes to like kind of alternative entertainment type tours, like youtuber tours we get left out so often and it's very frustrating because it's like i don't know we want to laugh too we want to see you like just because we're too cool for school up here just because we're so fucking secluded up in the woods doesn't mean we don't want to laugh at shit like come on y'all and then as the fucking icing on the cake one of my other favorite new creators he's not new i only recently discovered him gus johnson is also going on tour and skipping seattle and portland and i'm like why? Grace and Mamory, they're coming here. So I'm definitely going to that. That was super fun to see. I was like, thanks y'all. But they've come here on uh, book tours. They've come here before. So I feel like if they hadn't, people would have been like, bitch. Yeah, the fact that Danny and Drew and Curtis and Gus 
are all leaving Seattle out. I'm like, why? I just want to give you my money and see you and take pictures with you. Hello? I mean, I, I guess it's just because we didn't like, I don't know, write in as much because they have those little surveys online where it'd be like, where are you and where should we go? And maybe there weren't enough people from up here. And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> Fucking hell. So that's sad. But I will be seeing Grace. Grace and Mamrie, because I actually have yet to meet Mamrie. I've met Grace like twice, two or three times, and I met Hannah Hart one time at VidCon, um, but I've never met Mamrie, so gotta make that happen. Okay, so the tops of my eyes are done. Now I'm gonna do the bottoms. So what I wanna do is essentially the opposite on this eye. Like I wanna do this on the bottom and this on the bottom of this. Kind of like when I did my like Gemini look. Um, so I'm gonna take the orange, I'm gonna keep it pretty close to the lash line and then take a little bit of hibiscus and then actually in the outer corner they'll all turn into purple <laughs> look purple and take the green plumeria in the middle and then hydrangea next to it god that blue is such a good blue holy shit and then hummingbird just blend it right into that and you have mirrored looks okay i might end up putting a different i'm gonna put a different inner corner highlight i'm gonna use the milk highlight because i want to use a slightly different color and i hit pan oh my god i hit pan i'm so excited now i might actually do a video where i'm like Products I've hit pan on. Oh my god. All right. Does that look good? Hope so. Do I want to do eyeliner? I feel like I should, but then I also feel like I'm setting myself up for sitting here for like 20 minutes. So maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just do like a pencil liner. What a concept. It's black. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, this look would probably work really well with a winged liner. I just don't want to sit here and try and do it. So do do what you want. Do what you want. I'm gonna do a little contour, a little, little contour. I can already feel my upper lip sweating. Isn't that fun? Well, do we skin for life? But yeah, I'm super annoyed at YouTubers for not coming here on tour. Cause it's like, we're not all fucking uppity hipsters, Jesus. Some of us just really like the memes. Some of us just wanna want the memes, okay? Some of us just really want the memes. Oh, fun thing. Um, mm -hmm. I'm getting my hair done in a couple of weeks and I am very excited. I'm not gonna tell you what color I'm getting until I actually get it. Uh, I'm taking the, the Cover FX blush. Oh, so good. The shimmery side because my face wasn't already glowy enough <laughs> Put your head on my shoulder. i'm gonna use the milk one again because i like it i went to sephora the other day to pick up a a, a replacement of something which I will talk about in the video that I'm filming next, which I'm going to strategically leave off lipstick in this video because honestly, lipstick would be a lot with this. Also really any highlight shade because you have every color on your eye. Oh, I went to Sephora the other day to um, restock something. I noticed that, why was I going with this? I have no idea. I just started a story and I know where to go. Good job, Abby. You totally went to college for communication. <laughs> uh, I feel like all the internet that has been talking about the last few days is um, what I'm going to talk about in my next video that I film. So I don't really want to even like talk about it yet. So who knows? I do like how the heat affects my mascara though. Not going to lie. Makes my mascara. It makes my mascara look so nice. So nice. I need to spray my face. I'm way too hot to not spray my face right now. Spray. Even though I'm literally gonna take this off within the hour, but I want to spritz. I 
Who needs a fancy fan when you got a big ass hand? I think my friends, glitter would go really good on this, but I'm gonna take it off within the hour. So I don't wanna have to deal with glitter. <laughs> Weirdly enough, this ended up being actually a pretty short get ready with me when it was probably the most like, not complicated eye. It wasn't even that complicated. It's here, let's just slap some colors on my eyes and see what happens. But I've never really been that afraid of color, so. Is there something else I wanted to talk about? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. So long story short, I really like this palette. And I really like this palette. <laughs> so I'm glad I have both of them. They're going to be two of my new favorite brights palettes. Um, I've had a cup of coffee at 10 o'clock, so I'm still pretty damn awake, pretty soundly awake, my dudes. Um, so song of the day, actually, uh, there was this great article posted on NPR the other day. There was this great article on NPR the other day, bands that are redefining Seattle's music scene, which is just code for like Seattle bands that aren't grunge. So let's uh, pick a song from it. Today's song of the day is Tethered by Versing and it is off Versing's new record. What is it? 10,000, that's what it's called. But definitely check out this whole post. It's super cool. It's super inclusive. Like they include people of all different genres, all different races, all different sexualities. It's just like a huge hot hodgepodge of, of just like cool music coming from like alternative folks in the city that's not just like <laughs> rock and roll. Um, I love my, I love myself some good rock and roll, but sometimes you just gotta not do that, you know? This is probably a super random sporadic video that wasn't all that interesting to be fair, um, but I wanted to use these palettes and kind of just focus on the shades. Um, I highly recommend this palette. I mean, I'm very excited about the yellow one. I am, am stoked to see what the colors look like in person and what people uh, kind of think of them because in the swatches, they look nice. I don't know how bright they're going to be, but who knows? Maybe they're like super vibrant and like the best yellow eyeshadows I've ever used. I don't know. They have a lot to live up to from sugar pills. So we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what happens. So, so yeah, so your song of the day is uh, Tethered from Versing, check it out. Happy Pride to everybody who's celebrating. They repainted the rainbow so they're nice and fresh on the sidewalks. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons. Ah, uh, that's the end of this video. <laughs> I'll see y'all in my next one, bye.